Hello everyone, uh, my name is Sanjit Mitra. I work here for more than 12 years as a scientist at Ayuka. My primary research interests are gravitational waves and cosmic microwave background. You might have heard uh, that gravitational waves were discovered in uh, 2015 and uh, then Nobel Prize was awarded to uh, some of the people uh, for that. Uh, so we are also, a th more than 1000 people contributed to that effort and we were part of that. Uh, this is a very new field of astronomy. Every field of astronomy brings us very new information about the universe. It dramatically changes the way we understand the universe. Now, so far, what has happened is that in this uh, uh, new field, we have detected some of the binary neut neutron star and black hole mergers. So the two stars go around and then they lose energy, they come closer and then they merge. This signal provides us about very dif uh, different things about the universe, like how these black holes form, how stars form, that there are black holes, there are numbers and all kinds of different things. How the universe expands, where the heavy metals like gold, silver that we regularly use, where they form, all kinds of things. Yet, this is a very new field. There is a long way to go and many, many uh, more science is waiting uh, for us to be discovered. So, the, and the worldwide effort is going on in, uh, in this uh, direction to get more uh, science out of the present detectors, build new detectors, go to different frequency band and all those things. What we work here at Ayuka, uh, at least uh, in, in very different uh, areas, my primary focus is developing uh, algorithms to get more science out of the data. The thing is that we, we our, uh, uh, the data which is coming is from detectors we, which are running all the time. Now, if we can find better and better algorithms, we may be able to get more astrophysics out of this data. This is our goal. So, for example, we are right now only detecting uh, uh, compact binary mergers, as I said. But on the other hand, there are many different kinds of sources which may be present in the universe. For example, something called the stochastic gravitational wave background, which is created when a large number of these sources, like binaries, which are emitting together in far away in the universe. It is like going to a, uh, a cricket or football stadium. You can see the nearby people clearly, and those are this, like these binary, individual binary detections. But the distant of the crowd appears like a like a background you cannot in identify individual people but then you can see that there is a large number of uh, people sitting there so these are the kind of things which we are, we want to uh, detect the reason is that w these things will tell us about very different times of the universe the individual detections are, would be coming from the nearby universe while this background would be from a far away uh, uh, distance at much higher rate shifts and also this is a, this is a step towards detecting the primordial gravitational wave background which may be coming from the first second of the after the formation of the universe and this will be very very uh, exciting even um, for the binaries we are detecting some of the binaries but then there could be very interesting ones which may be missing out because we are limited by computational power so what we have done is to develop algorithms which can make these searches in data faster by more than 10 times so that we can look for more interesting sources. Uh, in, the, in the stochastic part which, which I mentioned, uh, what it allows us also to do, uh, make maps of the universe. Now we have de developed an algorithm which allows us to make a map at every frequency band. This was not possible before, but using some mathematical techniques, we have managed to do it. And now we can see if there are some unknown sources at any frequency band. And this is one of the most important aspects of, of uh, astronomy, that we always try to find unknown sources. So we have to look for it. And these unknown sources can always uh, change our perspective of the universe very uh, significantly. 